Termites are an important group of insects that play a crucial role in the ecosystems of the world. They are known for their ability to break down wood, the material that makes up most of the structural elements of our homes and buildings. Despite the fact that termites can cause significant damage to these structures, they also have an important place in the environment, acting as decomposers and recyclers of organic matter. It is important to understand their biology and behavior in order to better manage and protect our homes and environment. Termites are a highly social species and live in complex colonies. A typical termite colony contains one queen, a male king, and large numbers of workers and soldiers. The queen is responsible for laying eggs, while the king and workers are responsible for adjusting the colony's temperature and humidity levels and foraging for food. Soldiers are responsible for defending the colony from predators. Termites have an unusual reproductive strategy, with eggs hatching into nymphs, which morph into either workers or soldiers. The workers feed the queen, king, and the other termites with a diet of cellulose-rich materials such as wood, paper, and cardboard. They feed on the edges of these materials, which can create significant damage if left unchecked. The best way to distinguish termites from other wood-destroying pests is by their appearance and behavior. Termites are pale in color, are soft-bodied, and have visible antennae and straight antennae. They tend to travel in straight, uniform lines and can be seen feeding on wood. Carpenter ants and beetles, on the other hand, are generally black, have hard bodies and mandibles used to chew through wood, and are not always found in a straight line. Overall, termites are an important part of the environment, providing a vital service in the decomposition and recycling of organic matter. However, they can also cause significant damage to homes and buildings if left unchecked. Understanding their biology and behavior is essential for effective management and protection of our structures and our environment. Termites play a vital role in our environment, yet when found in our homes and buildings, they can cause significant damage. Understanding the biology and behavior of these tiny pests is essential for effective management and protection of both our structures and our environment. Termites are social insects that live in colonies and belong to the phylum Arthropoda. They feed on cellulose in wood, plants, and soil and use their specialized mouth structures to break down the material into small digestible particles. An individual termite is comprised of three distinct parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. They have six legs and two antennae, which they use to sense the area around them. Termites are divided into three main types, subterranean, dry wood, and damp wood. The most common species that causes damage to our homes are the subterranean termites. They live in colonies underground and enter our buildings through foraging for food, which typically results in the destruction of wood and other materials. Subterranean termites build networks of mud tunnels from their colonies in the soil up to nearby wood and other cellulose sources. This network of tunnels serves as protection from their predators, as well as a means of communication. Termite behavior is heavily influenced by their colony's case system, which is divided into four types, workers, soldiers, allets, winged reproductive males and females, and queens. Each caste has its own specialized duties, such as food sourcing, defense, and reproduction. The workers and soldiers build and maintain the tunnels, while the allets are responsible for searching out new food sources. The queen is the reproductive leader of the colony and can lay up to a thousand eggs each day. When dealing with a termite infestation, the best defense is proactive prevention. Regular inspection and maintenance of structural wood, such as walls, floors, fascias, foundations, and other wood components, is crucial for preventing termite damage. It is also important to remember that subterranean termites require moisture to survive, so homeowners should be vigilant about reducing moisture around their homes. By understanding the biology and behavior of termites, we can make sure that these destructive pests are kept at bay. With the proper preventative measures, homeowners and businesses can be protected against the destruction that termites can cause. Termites are small insects that have the potential to cause significant destruction to both residential and commercial properties alike. While termites can be very difficult to detect, there are several steps that can be taken to protect against them. By understanding the biology and behavior of termites, as well as by taking preventative measures, such as regularly inspecting for mites, we can make sure that these destructive pests are kept at bay. Termites are social insects that live in large colonies. Each colony is generally made up of three castes, soldiers, 
worker termites, and reproductive termites. The workers are responsible for gathering food, while soldiers are in charge of protecting the colony from predators. The Reproda Termites prefer to feed on cellulose-rich materials such as wood and paper. As they feed, they can cause significant damage to walls, flooring, and other wooden structures. They can also damage furniture, insulation, cardboard, and even books. To protect against termites, homeowners and businesses should keep an eye out for signs of infestation. Common signs of termite infestation include wood that appears to be crumbling, sagging floorboards, sawdust, and slash or mud tubes along exterior walls. Additionally, if a homeowner notices swarms of winged insects in the home or around the property, these might be alerts, signifying a termite infestation. In addition to inspecting for signs of infestation, there are several preventive measures that can be taken to protect against termites. This includes reducing moisture levels around the home, eliminating sources of food, and regularly inspecting the area for signs of infestation.